Hello everyone, welcome. This is Daisy. In today's tutorial, we're going to learn how to create sublimation designs using the Cricut Design Space program. And we're going to start with the design in Cricut Design Space. We're going to create this sublimation design. Let's go to new to start with a new one. Let's start with the text. Let's go to text click on font and find the font you wish to use for your sublimation design. I'm going to be using three fonts for this specific design. The first one is called American Captain. And with this one, I'm going to type the word mom. Check the video description below to find the links of the fonts and programs I am using for this design. Resize the letters to the measurements of your choice. After that, we're going to add color or a pattern. I think most of you know how to change color to the text. After that, we're going to use the offset feature to add an offset. But now I'm going to show you how to add pattern. You can use a pattern from Cricut Design Space or you can use the one of your choice even if it's not on Cricut Design Space. Let's go to Operation, Print, then Cut, click Standard. Then go back to the color block and instead of color, we're going to select Pattern. And here you will find all the design patterns that Cricut Design Space offers. I'm going to select this one. We may also adjust the size of the pattern. We're going to go to print type and click on edit pattern. Press on scale and drag to adjust to your liking. Close the window and now we're going to add an offset. Go to offset And I'm going to add a thin offset and apply. Now we already have the letters with pattern. And this if you want to use the patterns from Cricut Design Space. But now, now if you wish to add your own pattern or a pattern that is not on Cricut Design Space, I'm going to show you how to do that process. I'm going to duplicate this one. And we're going to go to upload. These images or pictures, I have found them on Google. And these ones are for free. Most of these images are for personal use, but if you wish to use them for commercial use, I recommend you to buy them. Select and insert. Now we already have the pattern that we're going to use. I'm going to move the offset to the side. We could add pattern to all of the letters at the same time. But when we stretch the background, it loses quality. So I'm going to add the pattern to one letter at a time and I'm going to duplicate the background. Now place the letter on top, adjust the background, select both layers and slice. Erase the layers that you don't need and ready. Now bring the letter on top of the offset. Now we're going to do the same with the letter O. I'm going to duplicate this one again. Select both layers and slice. Now erase the layers that you do not need. And bring the other one on top of the offset. Now we do the same with the last letter. We could duplicate this one too, 
but I'm just going to slice it. Now select and align. And group. Now I'm going to erase this one. I'm not going to work on that one today. Now we're going to add knockout text. Let's go to text. Let's go to font. And we're going to select a beautiful letter for the knockout text. The letter I'm going to use for that is called about love. This font is perfect for this knockout text. Let's put the letters together here on letter space. And if it doesn't work, ungroup and do it manually. Now I'm going to add a heart to join the two words together. For that, we're going to use the free program that is called Character Map UWP. If you have a window, your computer might already have that program. But if it doesn't, you may download for free. I'm going to leave the link in the video description so you may download it. So I'm click a design space. I am using the font about love. So when we come to character map, we need to look for that same font or it's not going to work. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to select the last letter of the first word. In this case, the letter T and I'm going to go to character map and look and look for a T that have a heart and a tail. So I'm going to copy, go back to Cricut Design Space and press Ctrl V. Now adjust it. Look how beautiful. Now we're going to do the same with the letter E and the letter B. I'm going to start with the B. Go to Character Map and look for the B with the heart on the left side. Here, copy, back to Cricut Design Space, select the B and press Ctrl V. And align. Now select the letter E and do the same but this one has to have the heart on the right. Here, copy, go back to Cricut Design Space and press Ctrl V and ready. Now select and click Weld. Resize and we're going to place on top of the word Mom. Now I'm going to add offset. Go to offset, adjust the thickness of your choice and apply. Now we can change color. I'm going to leave it white at the moment, but later on I'm going to change the color. So now here I'm going to type blessed. Let's go to text, font, and this time I'm going to be using the love font. Go to letter space and put the letters together. There. Go to weld and click. Click on the lock and resize to your liking. I'm going to group these ones for now, but I might need to ungroup later. It's just that so we can align. Select all of it, go to align, and center horizontal. Now 
I'm going to add background. I'm going to go to upload. I'm going to select this one, this one, and this one. I found all those on Google. Insert. Now I'm going to bring this one and put it on top of the word mom. Press the lock and resize. Now go to arrange and send to the back. Now I'm going to grab the watermark and stretch it all the way. Go to arrange and send it to the back. Press the lock and resize to your liking. Ready. Now this one, I'm going to, now I'm going to place this one on the sides. And I'm going to duplicate it. and put it on the other side, but we're going to flip horizontal and align. It's getting there. So now we're going to ungroup this block. Now I'm going to select the offset and change color. I'm going to go to advanced and ready and here we have the beautiful sublimation design created in Cricut design space now we're going to select all of the layers and click flatten now we're going to resize Remember, in Cricut Design Space, we cannot print designs that are bigger than 9.25 by 6.75 inches. So I'm going to select and I'm going to change the size to 9.25 by 6.75. So now we have a design that measures 9.25 by 6.75 or if you wish you can make it smaller with a specific measurement but remember it has to be smaller than 6.75 by 9.25 so now let's go to make it and as you can see it uses almost all the letter size page so now let's click continue send to printer so here we have two options one we can print a straight from design space and the other one we can save it to open it in a different program or to print it from a different program first i'm going to show you how to save it let's go to printers and instead of selecting your sublimation printer you're going to select microsoft print to PDF and we're going to take off the bleed. We do not need the bleed when printing sublimation designs and click on print. Now save it on a folder that is easy for you to find. Now it's already saved. If you look in your folders, it's already there. So you already have it for future projects or if you wish to print from another program. I'm going to go back to Cricut Design Space and now I'm going to show you how you can print straight from here. Don't pay attention to this, my machine is not on, but I'm not going to use my machine for this project. Send to printer. Now here we're going to select the sublimation printer. We're going to take off the bleed and if your printing preferences are already set continue to print and if your printing preferences are not set you need to use the system dialog and print 
when you press the system dialog this window is going to pop and you can set the printing preferences for this particular printing I have already set up the printing preferences so I don't have to be changing this every time I print if you wish to learn how to set up the printing preferences I invite you to look for my video tutorial where I show you how to set up the printing preferences for sublimation printing so now I'm going to click print so this is how it's going to print as you can see it's on mirror mode make sure you're always mirror your images so remember when you're selecting your printing preferences select mirror mode or mirror image because it's very important that when you print for sublimation it's on mirror mode especially when the design has writing and now print and here is the printed sublimation design before transferring we need to cut off the black frame we may cut it with the crickle machine scissors or a guillotine and now it's ready to be transferred I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and don't forget to subscribe to my channel like my video and press the notification bell thank you for your visit and I'll see you in my next tutorial